Hello friends. So welcome back again in our grammar lecture of standard six, seven, and eight. In this previous, in the previous lecture, we learned about the phrase and clause. Phrase and clause. These are the parts of sentence that difference between phrase and clause that we learned in the previous video. Now for the eight standard. complete sense it does not makes a complete sense it does not contain a subject as well as verb now in the kinds of phrases which are there subtypes that we will learn in this video now first kind of phrase is the noun phrase second is that adjective phrase and third one is that adverb phrase now, what is called a noun phrase? First of all, we learn about the phrase. Phrase means what? It is a half part of the sentence. Noun phrase, it is act as a noun in the sentence. It acts as a noun in the given sentence. If we see the example, so here I wrote the example. He expected to reach home. Early. Now, in this sentence, which part I underline here, that part it is acting as a noun in the sentence. In this part, who oh, is a noun? It is acting as a noun. And what another short hint for that? If we ask the question with what to the verb in the given sentence, so which answer we are getting? It will be a noun phrase. So here the term he expected to reach for early. Now I am asking the question. What he expected? What he expected? He expected to reach for early. And already here I underline that it is a noun phrase. I am repeating that same sentence once again for you. If we ask the question with what to the verb, so which answer we are getting that is called a noun phrase. Then next point is the adjective phrase. In the adjective phrase, what is the adjective? Adjective describes the noun. It is giving more information about the noun. In the given sentence, which word is describing the noun or which word is giving more information about noun in the sentence, that is called the adjective phrase as well as it acts as an adjective in the given sentence. For example, if we saw flowers with good fragrance have been used for decoration. Now, here in the line, what is that? With good fragrance. How it is? With a good fragrance means when another small thing for identifying the adjective, it is how are the flowers in the given sentence? We ask the question with how or if we saw that which word is describing the noun, it will be your adjective. In the given sentence, flower is the noun and to that flower, which words, or which group of words is describing, it is a with good fragrance. So that's why in this sentence, with good fragrance is the adjective because of these words are describing to the noun flower. Now, we will turn towards the third type of Phrase, it is adverb phrase. Now, for your previous knowledge, if we ask a question, what is called the adverb? Adverb, it gives more information about verb, is called adverb. So, in the adverb, in this sentence, which group of word is acting as an adverb? 